Mama, what's going on? Oh, he's raining. He doesn't do that anymore because he's an old grandpa. Yes. <laughs> Hi, cozy friends. How are we this week? Let's get started. I had kind of a rough day today, but we're gonna turn it around. We're gonna turn it around. Oh, also I could show you Azula. Oh my God. Azula. I'll be back. I keep forgetting to get her because she's so crazy that she just runs around. She'll run from you. This is Azula. Say hi, Azula. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Be free. She literally, she literally like geared up and sprinted off. Anyways, that is Azula. And Azula made my day better already. Just one of those days, isn't it? Just one of those days. But I'm glad you guys got to see Azula. Azula and Chila are like best, best friends. And it makes my heart, oh my God, it's, it's spring. It's, y'all the minor, any minor inconvenience today. Ooh, it's not gonna be pretty. Um. <laughs> I forgot it's spring and I'm so excited and we can finally finish some things, I think. I think, I don't know. Let me put my glasses on. Oh, I'm so excited. I was so tired of not seeing trees. Oh. Okay, this also made my day. Cats and Stardew seasons change. It'll do it. It'll do it. Also, you know what's hilarious? After I talked all that talk about, oh my god, I could let my animals out again, but my fence is all fucked up. After I talked all that talk about being a creature of habit and not changing the controller that doesn't make sense for me to have anymore, I was like, that's stupid. That's dumb, Kennedy. That's one of those things where you're just not improving because it's easy and you're lazy. And so it prompted me to get, <gasps> look at this. An actual wireless pro controller. And I just bought a skin for it too, using my own promo code. So that's exciting. That's it, that's all. Let's let's improve our lives in little ways here and there. <laughs> Yay. <gasps> wow, why is there all that grass? Kind of like it. I enjoy that very much. And I want all of these to be mushroom trees. <gasps> oh my God. It vibrates so much differently. I'm not used to it. I have bombs on me. Why again? Ugh. I don't know, but let's go to cleanse. Was I just gonna go to the, to the caves again? Who's to say? I feel like it's been an eternity since I filmed the last one, but I think it's only been a week. I wanna buy grass. Oh my God. Oh, I feel like we needed garlic for something. You already know. I'm about to f Ooh, everyone's out and about. Okay, spring's got everyone feeling a little different. Got a little pep in the step. Is that a cat under me? It, it feels, it feels, okay, it was. Did I finish my thought that they're best friends? They run around together. It's just the cutest. They've gotten more and more comfortable with each other. I don't think that's the one I need, is it? If it is, I'm, okay, no. I would have freaked out. Okay, I do wanna see the last one I need. Let's figure out if I'm targeting the right spot. Oh, it's petrified slime. Should I get a slime hutch? Okay, I say we try and do slime hutch. Try and do slime hutch and then we just do some mining. We just do some good old fashioned mining because it's in omni geodes. It's in omni geodes and it's in regular geodes. One out of 36 chance, which is the exact same as all the other minerals. Come on, it's about time. Oh, I just picked up a warp totem, sweet. All right, I know I don't have what it takes. I don't have what it takes. Oh, <gasps> we should do the community upgrade. Oh, I need 950 wood. Okay, I'll come back. Slime hutch, 10 refined quartz. Ugh, it's so easy, let's just do it. Let's do it. I don't think we'll have time to start it today. Oh, f fudge. Okay, I do need more refined quartz, so. I'm gonna do that. But we do have the wood we can do for Pammy's house. Let's do that. Yay, that's so generous of you. I'll start working on the upgrade tomorrow. It should take about three days. All right, girly pop, you do that. I'm gonna go to the mines with no food. And is that irresponsible? Maybe. Also, someone made a comment <laughs> that was like, you made it to the bottom of the caves with just the brown boots. <laughs> 
I had just the basic boots on because I put them on. Remember, I put them on because I was like, this will be cute. And then I never put back on the purple boots so that I would be protected in the skull caves. I'm an idiot, but I made it down. So if it works, it works. <gasps> yes. Can you get geodes from these? Also, never forget, I still need the last scroll. I want nobody to forget that. Oh my god, my head's in the wrong spot and I don't have the stardew thing on. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Sorry. How are you? <laughs> How are we doing, folks? You know what I did the other day that I have zero shame about? Zero shame, zero anything negative, only positive feelings. I collect things. Okay, just as a disclaimer, I don't know. I, I, I like collecting little things, especially when they're really meaningful to me slash very nostalgic, but I don't collect too many things. Like I only collect things that are really special to me and I end up like always getting rid of the straggler things. Like literally just the other day, I like cleaned out a bunch of crap that I have. I got rid of the little avocado squishmallow. Um, I'm just giving him away to Goodwill. Um, no! I just get, I just get rid of, like, I can't, if it's in my space and I, it doesn't bring me joy, doesn't spark joy, as Marie Kondo would say, it's gone. I have zero emotional attachment to my things unless I do. That makes sense. But when I do have an emotional attachment to things, I really like them and they really make me happy. And so, like, my pixel chick makes me so happy. My Tamagotchis make me so happy. My little Gudetama figu figurines so happy i just had to i just had to appreciate them real quick but after covering the brats game that's coming out i was like do they still sell brats and just out of curiosity like i wasn't like okay i'm gonna buy a brats doll i was like i'm just curious if they still even sell them guess what they sell not only do they still sell brats they sell the original four like the first ever brats that ever came out the first for the original line at target target.com i cannot tell you how nostalgic like brats are for me like brats were my thing i was a brat girly i was i i liked barbies but brats were like my shit and my first one ever my mom's best friend gave it to me and it was yasmin and they have the exact same one they're selling the exact same one on target so i bought it <laughs> I bought it and I'm just gonna keep her. I don't know where I'm gonna keep her actually. I feel like it's 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 like lame to keep her in the packaging, but she has all the cute like, she has the cute little clothes and stuff. I don't know, I don't want them to just like sit around. I don't know where I'll put her, but nostalgic, love it. And, oh, glow ring, great, thank you. I just need the freaking slime stuff. Yeah, there wasn't really much else to say besides I got a Bratz and I'm very happy about it. Also, does anyone remember my scene dolls? Also love those, not as much. They felt a little bit like off-brand Bratz, but I still did enjoy those. I did. And there was like a soundtrack to it and my brother and I listened to it all the time. And there was like my scene games too, right? Like internet games. There's Bratz. I had the Bratz game on PS2. Loved it. I don't even remember what it's called. People in the comments of my video were like, oh, this this specific game title was the best. I'm, I have no idea what you're talking about. I literally have zero memory of anything ever, ever, ever. Oh, I need to get home. Oh my God. I know. I know it's getting late. I know. I know. Yeah. So I have no idea what, what specific games they're talking about, but I'm like, yes, girlfriend. I played a Bratz game and I loved it. Couldn't tell you which one it is, but it, I played one and I loved it. So yeah, did y'all play with Bratz? Did y'all like Bratz? Did y'all play the Bratz games? Are you excited for the new one? If you didn't know, there is a new one coming out um, on Switch too. Can't, literally can't wait. Cannot wait. The joy that just like, <sighs> nostalgia. I'm just a nostalgia slut. Like, mm, it just, it, it just shoots serotonin into my brain. Cute things and nostalgia. But it has to be a specific kind of nostalgia. Some nostalgia makes me feel weird. It's like too nostalgic that it makes me remember things. I should take that to therapy probably, not you guys. <laughs> um, thanks, Demetrius. That's so sweet. I don't want any more amethyst, but I appreciate it. Come on, poo. Oh, I gotta plant some grass. Oh my goodness. Let me plant some grass. Okay, the grass is planted. <gasps> I forgot that I used to have grass up here and that's why it didn't look so freaking weird. I'm just gonna fill these with grass now because I had no plan for it. 
Anyways, just gonna do a little bit and hopefully it'll grow on its own. Eat up! Oh, there's so much over here. Oh, here the piggies go, finding their truffles. Wow, thank you piggies. <laughs> I have so many full chests that I need to sort. All right, let's go to Clint's. Also, this is a, a tower fan, if you were curious. It's a tower fan. Look at her working on the, the house. That's cute. Please, petrified slime, petrified slime. Manifest, petrified slime, petrified slime, petrified slime, petrified slime, petrified slime. I'm begging you, I'm begging you. I want this search to be over. Oh, we got two of the same ones, that's great. Petrified slime, petrified slime, petrified slime, petrified slime. <laughs> You're teasing me! Petrified slime! Petrified slime! It looks exactly like that green one, just stouter. Oh my god. Okay. Well, let's go find some petrified slime. I'm determined. I'm determined we're gonna do it. I've been so lucky so far that I just believe in my luck again this time. Hey guys, what you doing? Just chasing each other around. It's great because they keep each other company, obviously. <laughs> But that's really great for a kitty because I forget that when you live with a kitty, even if it's not yours, it's still your kitty and you still have to live life as if you have a kitty. <laughs> and we have to keep our doors open at night just so that they can get out. Otherwise, they'll like meow and meow and meow if they can't get out. Both Chila and um, I must call her Luna Azula. So what? What am I ever saying? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, we have to keep our doors open. So sometimes when Azula doesn't get the attention that she wants from Maya, she will jump in my face at like 5 a.m. and wake me up, which Chila used to do all the time. So I'm kind of used to it. Chila used to do it to me when I was studying for the bar. And that was extremely frustrating. It would be like 4.30 a.m. and he'd be like, meow, 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 or sprinting around. He doesn't do that anymore because he's an old grandpa. But now Azula does. <laughs> But I appreciate it now because I need to get up earlier. I do. Are y'all early risers or night people? Because I used to be an early riser and maybe some people would still consider me an early riser. But I've never been a night person. I fall asleep at like 1030 faithfully every day. And if I don't, like it's because I'm doing something like last night I was up late working. But usually like I can't even do I it can't if something is calling to me. No, that's not the right words. If I have a responsibility I have to get done and I have to stay up late for it, I probably won't. I probably I can't. It's not that I won't, it's that I can't. I physically my brain turns off. Nothing. I can't process anything. I have to go to bed. And then I just choose to get up at like 4 a.m. or something if I really have to get it done before a certain time. Cause I can operate then. My point in saying that was just that I, and maybe that's why my brain is so stupid today because I didn't get enough sleep, but I am not a night person, never have been. That's my only point. Just cannot stay up for the life of me. But lately I feel like I've, I'm no longer a morning person either. I like faithfully get up at 6.30. Like without, if I don't set an alarm, I'm getting up at 6.30. <gasps> Monster Slayer Gold complete Seek Guild for reward. Yay! At least I finished one of them, y'all. All right, I finished one of them. That's so exciting. Yeah, I just feel like I'm, so I get up at 6.30 naturally. Is that a morning person? Is Am I a morning person or is that just a regular person? I don't, it doesn't feel early to me anymore. And I feel like I, I just like get up and lay there and I start doing things at like 7.15. 7 30 some days let me know if that's a morning person to you let me know if you're a morning person are you a night person are you a nothing person and it's just it is what it is for that day sometimes i wish that were me yeah but i i have lately just been feeling like i literally don't have enough time in the day and i need to become more of a morning person i need to become one of those girlies that wakes up at 5 a.m and has a 5 to 9 routine and then starts work and then i have a 5 to 9 routine after work i can't be bothered i can't i'm just tired i want tie just tired well oh gills is gonna be closed i'll see you tomorrow oh i did not hang out with the animals today whoopsies 
I'm realizing at this stage it's kind of okay to like miss a day. And you know what else I realized? I'm just telling y'all. I'm just, I just, I'm telling y'all about my, like y'all are my doctor or something. I just, I, I hope it's helpful to somebody who's going through similar things. Maybe, maybe. But remember the week where I was like, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling the best I've ever felt. I have so much energy and it's because I'm feeding myself the right things and taking my vitamins. I truly felt so good. I felt so energized. I felt like I had more time in the day. Guess what happened? I went back to my old ways and I had stopped feeding myself the amount that you should feed yourself. I, I, I forget again. So I need to work on that. All right. That's my intention for this week. Okay, y'all. I'm setting it now. My intention for this week and this month, this next month, because this month's already over. Oh my God. It's already like September, which I'm excited about because fall. But my intention for this fall, I'm just going to say fall in general, is to, yeah, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> is to feed myself because this happens when I don't I can't think <sighs> and I'm tired all the time it's amazing what feeding yourself does I'm gonna go to the grocery store I'm gonna go to the grocery store after this and get some veggies and then I'm gonna forget they're in my fridge because I can't immediately see them in my line of sight and then I'm gonna, gonna they're gonna go bad so relatable Brick, I forgot to pause it. <gasps> I learned how to make bruschetta. Can I make it? I don't have any tomatoes. Uh, yeah, I have no tomatoes. Oh, it's raining. You already know we're going straight to Clint's. I'm neglecting my animals. Yeah, I am. A leak. Okay, Haley. All right, we have 16 geodes. We have no omni geodes. All right, 16 geodes, one, we have a one in 36 chance of it being petrified slime. I'm not hopeful, I'll tell you that much, I'm not. Petrified slime, but I am lucky when it comes to this game. Oh! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're joking me. You are jo you are ki you are kidding me. Not only do I never get shit from geodes, I got the V1 I needed the second day, the third day of mining. Okay. Third day of mining, third stone. And look at this, I'm getting trash basura for the rest of them. Oh, oh my gosh. What did I say? I'm lucky. Y'all are my lucky charm? Lucky charm? Lucky, is that is that what it's called? Okay, I don't have room for these, so I'm just gonna. I did get quite a bit of, of good minerals in that in that uh, run. Well, now I just need the scroll and I'm, I'm on a lucky streak. So, you know, I think we're good to go. Oh my God, please, I don't get a reward. I don't get a reward for finishing the minerals. Look at this, look at this. Ah, it's beautiful. Oh, she's a beaut. Oh, look at that. Not a, not a, not a, not a, not a. <laughs> y'all know, y'all get it. Oh my God. I cannot, I actually genuinely cannot believe that happened. <sighs> wow. Okay. So now we just need random things like this last scroll. Okay. Where, what, where was this last scroll? The one that could be anywhere. Door scroll two. Yeah. Basically floors one through 80. But when I get the final dwarf scroll, I get the dwarvist translation guide and then I could talk to the dwarf. <sighs> I just, okay. It's a 0.1% chance. It's a 0.1% chance. Okay, tilling soil or on the mine. Okay, so I'm gonna do level 40 through 80 because if you can get it tilling soil, oh no, it's tilling soil one through 40 or 0.5% chance. Okay, I'm still going 40 to 80 because it's a 0.5% chance for the little enemies. Ah, oh wait, I need to go see, um, <laughs> just screaming. I need to see Gil. Okay, that's so rude. I guess I'll just go to the quarry and do things I don't need to do uh, until you're ready for me, Gil. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Is that an ancient seed? No way. When did I get that? Damn, remember my reactions to ancient seeds back in the day? All right, let's put some crap in the mines so that I have space for whatever reward Gil's gonna give me. Open up. I should go get that wood. Oh, this is Gil? Insect head. That's weird. Thank you though. So what did I do? It was the cave insects? I did that? Okay. Still don't know what that one is. A 
thousand slimes. I guess I could do that if I have a slime hutch. Just breed them to kill them. That doesn't seem bad at all. 30 duggies. I can do that. I can do duggies. I kind of want to use the in insect head just for funsies now. Even though it's clearly, clearly not as good as my galaxy sword, but whatever. Okay, so I'm in here not for this shit anymore. I don't need all any of this. I only need insects or I only need monsters and hoeing. No monsters, I'm out of here. Well, I was so lucky before. Who's to say I can't be lucky again today? Okay, I guess. I guess those sprites say that. Ooh, okay. Enemies, enemies. No enemies? Goodbye. Come on, just drop one. Just drop one. You know you want to. I know one of you has it. I know one of you has it. That's the thing. I'm too think I'm thinking about it too actively. I need to let it go. It's fine. I'm not attached to um not attached to it. It's totally fine. <gasps> ah! I don't want that scroll. I want the other one. Oh, thank you for the spoon. I needed this a spoon. I needed that so bad. Yeah. Come on, just give me a second one. Just give me a second one. There's, you've given me so many of the other ones. Why not just simply hand over Torf Scroll Numero Dos? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. They sense a weakness. No! Azula always tries to eat Chila's food. They're like children. They're not aggressive about food, which is good. But Azula just like wants Chila's food and Chila's a creature of habit. So he just wants his own food. He's not trying to get Azula's food that goes off. He's just trying to get his food, but he's also like sh like shy and scared. So Azula will just dive into his food and he just kind of sits there like, eh, and he'll look at me like, mom, mama, what's going on? Why, why is she taking my food? Um, so then I have to physically bring her to her food that went off in the room and let Chila eat in peace. This is my daily, uh, this is my life now. Cat mom extraordinaire. I will say though, I have been seeing really fancy, did I already talk about this? I don't remember anything ever at all. I've been seeing really fancy like cat food advice and I'm doing the thing again where I'm, I'm focusing on the wrong things. Forgot why I'm here, I've lost focus, I've lost sight of what's, what really matters, which is the scrolls. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ooh, ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna freak out. I'll do it. I'll do it. You think I won't? Oh, the cute little boots. I'll get rid of something for the boots. We show cute little thermal boots. I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, I've been seeing very cute, not cute. I've been seeing this specific TikTok account of this lady who like feeds her animals really, really like very natural, like what they would eat in the wild things. So for cats, it's like all wet food um, because apparently it's not good to have dry food. I think the only dry food um, argument for dry food is like teeth, but apparently this is not just coming from her. It's also coming from vets and stuff. So like apparently that's just like food companies, kibble companies kind of like trying to give any kind of benefit to kibble. Yeah, apparently there's like really no, it's not that good. And, and your pet can get tooth decay anyways. And then there's also like the greenies treats and stuff that you can give them. Anyways, there's there's not the arguments I've heard that were like, you can't give your food, your food cat, wet, wet cat. You know what I'm trying to say. Apparently it's just hella blue. And because cats are like desert animals or whatever, they get their moisture from their food. And so it's important to give them wet food because even if they're drinking and they're not getting enough and they're never giving it enough and nothing's ever right that you're doing ever. So I, w I would like to start. Also, this lady feeds her like her cat's like liver and like really fresh, just like chicken like bits and beef and like stuff. And she also does freeze dried kibble when she can't. Um, like when she's on a trip or something. So I think I'm gonna transition to freeze dried kibble because that's like, it's just better in general than kibble, but that's still not so solving the moisture problem. So I would like to feed my cat. And I'm so, I know this is just the most riveting information for you to hear. I know it's just, I know you're dying to know when I'm gonna feed my cat. So I'll tell you, oh, hold my arm, why don't you? I, I wanna try and give Chila at least one wet food meal a day. 
but it's hard to keep that consistent because sometimes I'm, I'm I don't stay here sometimes like I work during like it's hard to it's hard and that it's just convenient isn't it kibble is just convenient I'm gonna go check on my animals because I've neglected them for two days in a row <laughs> yeah so I don't know if anyone has tips on feeding your animals um, at times that makes sense and not then like forgetting to feed them at all because you are used to the timed feeder and and if you leave the house you would forget that you were supposed to feed your cat because you're used to the time feeder if anyone has that very specific problem let me know talk to your girl Mint possible all right it's thursday so for one pam's house should be done two it's ken's birthday i don't care but i should i should what is ken like what is that doofus like he loves roasted hazelnuts. Let's get you some roasted hazelnuts, buddy. Get you some roasted hazelnuts. I'm gonna have some right here. Oh, it's so cute. I don't think I've ever seen it. Oh, it's adorable. They have a house. I feel pretty good about it. In fact, it might be my finest work yet. Oh, notice the round window. Very difficult to bend the frame like that. Oh, and the intricate carvings on the door took me forever. Did you notice that? I did, Robin, and I loved it. I love it. Anyway, I'm gonna talk to them, but first I have to ask, do you want me to tell them you paid for this? I think, I, I, for one, I don't think it's bad to take ownership over a charitable act. I don't think that's an inherently negative thing. In this case, I think because of the, the dynamics of the community that it would be nice for pe for maybe them to think that like the community came together. You know, the community's growing, you know, we, we got the community center up and running. We've got all these things, these changes ever since Farmer Ken came in that are making the community better and more tight knit and you know, the community just came together and got them this house. I think in this storyline, I would rather that be their thoughts other than just like oh big bucks farmer Ken came in and slapped down some money that's not that fun in real life I would probably say that I would probably tell somebody that I bought them a house because it would probably be someone that I would care about and I want them to know that I care about them because gift giving is one of my love languages and I want them to know that I'm giving it to them because I love them but in this case, it, that's not really the case. I just gave it to them because... And there you go. That's my entire thought process on this question. Ugh. Hi there, neighbors. That's a nice new house you got there. Robin, I don't know what to say. This is a dream come true. It's all I've ever wanted. Aww. Robin, thank you so much. Hey, don't thank me. Someone else came up with the idea. And they paid for everything, too. Then who? I can't say. They insisted on remaining anon anonymous. They probably stayed anonymous, so we wouldn't have to feel obligated to them. Whoever you are, you are truly a pure angel. She's looking to the side. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I love Robin. I want to marry Robin. I love her. Penny, from now on, will be like a real family, you hear? I don't want to be so bitter all the time anymore. I'm going to try to turn my life around. Oh. Oh, I love the hug uh, animation. That's so cute. Oh. Oh, how cute. I loved that. Now let's go barge into their house like we own the place and be an asshole. Oh, this house? Yeah, I actually got it for you so I can come in whenever I want. <laughs> imagine. Imagine. That would, that would probably be worse than... Oh, it's so cute. What are these little things? What are these? What are those, y'all? I was going to say like cans of something, but... Oh, no, it might be. That might be a spilled can of them. Okay. Well, hopefully she's changing her life a little bit. A bit more. And this is Penny's because it has the little library. Cute. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. The big table, the couch. It's adorable. Very cute. But I was going to say, imagine like, I would rather have a, a, a not real home, like a little Airstream, than for, than for someone to feel like they could just come into my house whenever and shove the fact that they bought it for me in my face all the time. No, thanks. What's the point of this anymore? <laughs> I have everything I need. Just doing it for fun at this point. Oh, you know what? Can't you save frozen tears for something? Eh, whatever. Great. Now, uh, I think Robin's is still open, so I'm going to go there and see. I don't need to get a slime hutch anymore. I don't need to get a slime hutch anymore. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful to me. So I think instead... Oh, I can't get that to you, Gar. I can't get that to <laughs> garlic. Oh, we need to get this to Kent. Stupid head. Stupid butt. He's not there. 
Where would a stupid butt be? If I were a stupid butt, where would I be? Hmm, in a house being stupid? Maybe. Let's see. I guess not. Where's your husband, Miss Lady? Where else does he even go? It's Thursday. It's a 1 p.m. on a Thursday. Leaves home stands under the north of the house. No, I don't see him. I don't know where this man is. Look, he's not even here with Vincent, where he normally would be. Where is this man? <sighs> where is Kent on his birthday? Apparently, he's either inside his house. He's not here. He's not here. He's not down here. He's not up here. Where the hell is he? Is he at the saloon? I'm wasting a day looking for this man. I don't even like him. He's not at the saloon. Is he at the doctor's office? No, okay. Where is he? Where's your husband? It looks like he's looking at his father. His father's nowhere to be seen. If he's not home, I'm waiting for him inside his house. There's nowhere else he'd be. I'll just plop right down here. I'm so upset. Kent, not only do I not like you, not only could I have been searching for dwarf scroll number two in the rest of my fourth day, I now have to sit in your mismatched living room, blue couch, black couch, red rug. How does that make sense? No TV, not a TV in sight. What's in the, what's over there? What's the entryway? What's happening in the entryway? There's just a, a small table, small table of stools, a credenza, it looks like, over over the, the border of the rooms. Let me just, let me just come back to this. No TV. I have to sit in this house that makes no sense, waiting for you on your birthday. Where is this man? Where is this man? Where's Kent? Where's Kent? Is he ever anywhere else? He's never anywhere else. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna sit right here until 9 p.m. I'm gonna sit right here till 9 p.m. Oh, there's your son. There's your son, buddy. Son came home. Son came home on your birthday to his room that, for the record, also doesn't make sense. Why do you have weird green carpeting and then a little pocket of, of wood? Why? Why? Lights are on. No one's home except all your family and not you on your birthday. Where's Kent? Oh my god. You're, you, 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 you take your stupid birthday gift. Oh my god. Jeez Louise. I will never know. We'll never know where that man was. None of the none of the schedules say where he was. We'll never know. And I don't care to know. All I know is I'll remember I won't. I'll try to remember next birthday to not go to his house till 8 p.m. I don't know. Do other things. Not waste my time. Not waste everybody's time. Kent, I have never disliked you more than now. You wasted your children's time, fine. You waste my time. Now we've got a problem, bucko. Now we've got a problem. I'm gonna sleep, I'm tired. Actually, no, I need to sort my stuff and then I'm gonna sleep. Good night, Pooh. I, I have no words. I have no words for that last day. My cat's sleeping on the stairs. Everything's wrong. Everything's wrong. All right. <laughs> Whew, we're gonna shed, we're gonna shed the energy of Kent being a disappointment like he always is. I don't know why we're surprised. Y'all, we have two, we have two cozy corners. Okay, let's let's start cozy corner. Cozy corn, we need to have like a theme song for cozy corner. We have two, we have one from Tay Cozy. I'm liking it, I'm liking it after I took the picture, I'm so sorry. And then we have Torchy, is that Pokemon Arceus? Love it, love it. Thank you so much for always tagging in Cozy Corner, I love to see it. And then Cozy Friend of the Week. Okay, I'm stupid and I didn't take a picture of our Cozy Friend of the Week. I didn't take a screenshot, which it's torchy again because, because like I always have a reason. I don't always have a reason. But Torchy's just great and if super supportive. And Torchy bought the tarot sweatshirt that is a part of my merch and it looks so cute. Oh my God, wait, no, no, I do, I do, I do have it, I do have it. I'm screen recording it right now so y'all can see it right here. The cutest little video of the tarot sweatshirt. I love it, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for always being here. Thank you for being a cozy gamer. Thank you everyone. Also, this is like a general announcement in life. Just me as a human, me as a creator. I'm doing a cozy gaming line with TT Inventory who I've 
is my friend. Alyssa is my friend. We've worked together before, but we've, we've, we've I've shown her stuff before because she's a friend. If you don't know her shop, it's amazing. TTInventory.com. And we're doing a cozy gaming line. It's coming out September 2nd. I'm so excited. Um, We worked hard um creating these designs and i'm like super proud of them going into it i was like a little nervous i'm like i don't know i'm super picky and i'm super opinionated and so i don't know how, how well i'm gonna like work with someone else in creating a line that i can like put my name to but Alyssa is the best and i'm like so excited i think you guys are gonna love everything so i will talk more about that uh, i guess we'll next week will it be out what is time next week yeah next week it'll be out so um yeah next sunday it'll be out i'll link you guys to it next sunday i can't wait um okay i love you stay cozy bye